it's Sue from Sue Boyce Jewellery and today we're going to be making colourful jewellery that's earrings and a pendant um, out of this Fimo modelling clay kit. It's modelling clay that resembles leather once it's been in the oven and it's slightly flexible. Using the four blocks of colour modelling clay that come with the kit, we're going to be making the jewellery in shapes from the 60s era, as seen on the template here. And we can decorate these um, items of jewellery with abstract designs, marbling effects or florals. It's up to you. First of all, unwrap your four colour blocks and take some of the, um, the clay off and using greaseproof paper so that you don't mark your table, put some clay on top and roll it so that it's between one and two millimetres thick. On the sheet provided are some template ideas for iconic 60s jewellery. Cut these out or make up your own. So take your plastic knife and try and press firmly down when cutting. Um, it does tend to stretch slightly when you cut the clay, but you can easily fix it at the end by pushing the sides firmly. Um, it's very forgiving before it's been put in the oven. Have fun with the shapes. Um, we have in the pack 10 jump rings, so there's enough for you to make about three or four pairs of earrings. Um, the earrings can be in two parts, which is a very um, 60s um, fashion look. And um, save, remember to save enough jump rings for you to make the pendant as well. I suggest doing a few extra pairs of earrings in case there's any um, fails when it comes out of the oven because it does have a tendency to crumble slightly when you put the jump rings through once it's been cooked. If you're happy with your shapes, take a cocktail stick and make a hole for your jump ring to fit through once the clay has been in the oven. Make sure the hole is at least two millimetres from the edge of the design because um, it does have a tendency to crumble once it's been in the oven. Take a look at the ear wires we have here. You might want to consider threading the earring directly onto the ear wire, in which case the decoration is at the front, or you might want to use the jump ring, which I did earlier. And here you can see that the side of the earring is, is visible, and you might want to consider decorating the front and the back um, because it's actually more visible. It's really up to you. So pop your designs in a preheated oven for about 27 to 30 minutes on a sheet of greaseproof paper. The oven mustn't have food inside when you put the clay in and the oven mustn't go above 130 or it will burn and give off gases. So take a note of the time and set a timer for around 28 minutes on your phone. Once your pieces have been taken out of the oven, set them aside for 10 minutes to cool down. You can now begin constructing your jewellery using the jump rings. When you open your jump rings, don't pull them apart, pull them sideways, otherwise it will distort the, the, um, the circle shape. So think about whether you'd like the design to be forward facing or side facing, and that will help you decide whether you want to add a jump ring to the ear fixing or not. You can see on this ear fixing, I've just added the, um, the decorative piece of um, Fimo straight onto the ear fixing, and that's going to be a front facing earring. With the pendant necklace, I've added a jump ring through the necklace wire, and this is um, a two part pendant design. So thank you so much for joining in. If you enjoyed this, please post some pictures online and tag myself and Be Arts in it. Um, you can buy the Fimo um, leather jewellery kit from Cooks and Gold, as well as other jewellery suppliers or craft shops, um, as well as the jump rings and ear wires. So enjoy experimenting.